Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Andrew White Grace from the Saviour, March 29th For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 We must learn in the school of Christ, nothing but his righteousness can entitle us to one of the blessings of the covenant of grace. We have long desired and tried to obtain these blessings, but have not re- but have not received them because we have cherished the idea that we could do something to make ourselves worthy of them. We have not looked away from ourselves, believing that Jesus is a living Saviour. We must not think that our own grace and merit will save us. The grace of Christ is our only hope of salvation. Through his prophets, the Lord promises, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Isaiah 55 verse seven. We must believe the naked promise and not accept feeling for faith. When we trust God fully, when we rely upon the merits of Jesus as a sin-pardoning Saviour, we shall receive all the help that we can desire. We look to self as though we had power to save ourselves, but Jesus died for us because we are sin- because we are helpless to do this. In him, is our hope, our justification, our righteousness. We should not despond and fear that we are that we have no saviour, or that he has no thoughts of mercy towards us. At this very time he is carrying on his work in our behalf, inviting us to come to him in our helplessness and be saved. We dishonour him by our unbelief. It is astonishing how we treat our very best friend, how little confidence we repose in him, who is able to save us to the uttermost, and who is, who has given us every evidence of his great love. Let none here feel that their case is hopeless, for it is not. You may see that you are sinful and undone, but it is just on this account that you need a saviour. If you have sinned to confess, lose no time. These moments are precious. If we confess our sins, he says, he is faithful and just to give us, to forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John chapter 1 verse 9. Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness will be filled, for Jesus has promised it. Precious Saviour, his arms are open to receive us, and his great heart of love is waiting to bless us. Some seem to feel that they must be on probation and must prove to the Lord that they are reformed before they can claim the blessings. But these dear souls may claim the blessings even now. They must have the grace of the Spirit of Christ to help and their infirmities, or they, they cannot form the Christian character. Jesus loves to have us come to him just as we are, sinful, helpless, dependent. Homeward Bound